Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you some nice effects, like syncing effects you can that you can add to your uh, edits, like when you already synchronize your clip, but still something is missing. Uh, yeah, I will talk about, I won't show you like all the effects I know, just the blur effects, like radio blur or um, Gaussian blur and linear blur. Um, so yeah, th you might know this clip from my speed edit. I up uploaded it a few days ago. Um, if you don't know that, check it out. So I basically removed all of the syncing effects and uh, yeah, like the flashes and the scale and everything. Um, so yeah, let's watch this. So yeah, it looks pretty nice, but still something is missing. So um, yeah, I will make more tutorials on more effects like Twitch and uh, yeah, some flashes and scaling and all that stuff. But only if you guys stay active and yeah, keep liking my videos and watching them. Um, yeah, by the way, uh, in four days my channel will be one year old, and I will upload the commentary, and I will talk about some important updates. So. Please don't miss that. Uh, it's not like a boring commentary or something. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, still something is missing. So I will show you some nice effects you can add to your uh, shots, or you can even eat them, uh, add them between the shots, like if there are any beads or something. So yeah, let me add an adjustment layer. So the first thing I will show you is radio blur. Um, yeah, that was requested by some people. So. You can either either add radio blur or uh, CC radio blur. I prefer CC radio blur. I don't know why, but yeah. Uh, by the way, this is a bit blurred because I already added motion blur to this clip, so uh, don't worry. So yeah, let's say this is our shot, and so you line up your uh, this thing with exactly your shot, and then you make a, a keyframe on the amount, and then you go forward if, uh, like three frames or four frames so one two three four by the way I do that by pressing page down um, yeah and then I will change the amount to uh, yeah probably oh I should make this none of this probably yeah but bet between maybe one and five you can choose whatever you want like five would be um, a bit much blur and one would be that but let's say just yeah let's say four so and then you go forward um, around 20 frames or something or just like a few frames so you can just click here or in my case uh, I will press shift and page down to go forward 10 frames and then I will do the same to go forward uh, forwards 20 frames and the same for 30 frames and then I change the amount to zero so basically now when it shoots, it adds some blur and then it fades out again. Uh, you can change this uh, type to maybe rotate or rotate fading or all that uh, stuff, but I prefer scratch or rotate. So, but scratch is a bit better, so yeah. Uh, now if you want to add this to all those other shots, you can just uh, select this, press Ctrl C, go to the next shot, press Ctrl V next shot control V next shot control V I'll just copy and paste um so yeah we'll just quickly show you how that looks like like on one oh it's even going fast so yeah um yeah that looks nice I can show you some more advanced settings and stuff if you want to so yeah, like the video and stuff, you know what to do. Uh, now I'll show you the next effect. Um, I will keep this on the very first shot. And now for the next shot. Uh, now we I will show you how to add linear blur. Um, now it's called... Uh, wait, what is this called? Is it called? Uh, let me just find a blur and sharpen. Um, oh, directional blur. Sorry. So let me add directional blur. So um, 
So here you basically just have to keyframe the blow length. So on that shot, uh, second shot, I'll make a keyframe. I go forward four frames again, make a keyframe, and now I will basically have to play around with these settings. I don't really know good settings yet. Okay, so probably yeah, like, let's say twenty five, and but let's change the direction to uh, type in ninety so that it goes from left to right and not from uh, yeah down to uh, top. So yeah, ninety. You can also yeah do whatever you want to, but I let it at ninety and then go forward thirty frames again, and change it back to zero. Um, okay, now let me preview this. Okay, first shot radio blur, second shot uh, directional blur. You shouldn't add this like. Hold on. Yeah, so th these are just some examples. Um, okay, now the uh, third effect I'm going to show you is Gaussian blur. That's basically just a general blur. So I will keep the direction blur for the second shot, and now for the th uh, third shot, shot we will use Gaussian blur. So at the third shot, uh, shot I will make a keyframe again, go forward four frames, and change this to um, let's say eight. So I would uh, choose something between five and the maximum would be like fifteen or something. But I would say. Uh, 10 or something and then go forward uh, 30 frames again and change it back to zero um, okay now I think I don't have to preview this so yeah uh, and to add like a bit more um, so it looks like a bit better you can like on all those shots you can add some uh, scale on your clip or some flashes and stuff. If you want to, I can make another tutorial for that. And yeah, if you guys stay active and like my videos, because I will probably upload like daily or every second day to Modern Warfare 3, um, then I will make uh, a tutorial on how to synchronize your clips and After Effects and how to build up a nice flow. So um, stay tuned for that, stay tuned for the commentary, and yeah, like the video, and that's it. Bye.